GRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC, here on GGRC. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bird Game Plus. Now, Bird Game Plus is a $5 game. It's only got three levels, and that is really unfortunate because it's actually a really cool game. Uh, you guys might remember last month I did a quick save review for a game called Feather. Now, Feather was a game where you just play as a bird and you fly around and that's all you do, right? It, the whole idea is to relax, fly around, and just enjoy the flying. That's what the whole point of it was. And I liked that. I thought it was cool. However, Bird Game Plus builds on that, where you play as a bird, and this is from a different development company, this is not the same company who came out with Feather, but you still play as a bird through linear levels, almost like bullet hell <laughs> levels, like it's like almost like a passive bullet hell, where you go through these linear levels avoiding things, you can't shoot back or anything like that, you just have to let everything else takes its, uh, take its course and, and live uh, to, to hopefully fly another day. Um, before we jump into the actual gameplay, I want to show off the aesthetic here, because I really like the aesthetic in this game. Um, if you go in here to options, now shield your eyes for a second here. Ah, ooh, yeah, we're going back to dark. That is too much. So the whole idea is that everything is drawn. Everything is kind of wispy, kind of like the wind. Uh, you can also turn the fancy water off, like these little ripples that you see here, but I don't know why you would. It's uh, a real nice aesthetic. I don't know if it's going to help the game run better or quicker or whatever. But there you have it. Um, also, there are challenges and achievements to get. So you can see I only have one for defeating the Bug Bros. And what that means is that this game has bosses, believe it or not. There's also an endless mode. If you Once you see what, when we get into the game here, you'll see how that works. But if you want to continue to avoid things forever. Um, but yeah, the, the level or each level seemingly has bosses in it. The first one had two bugs that are attacking you, two giant bugs. Um, but I, I think the moral of this game before we get started is that everything hates birds. Everything. You're going to find that bugs, water, plants, everything. Everything hates birds. And since you're a bird, everything hates you. Uh, so let's jump into level two and let's feel the hate for a moment here, shall we? And I will actually switch my webcam over here to the left. There we go. That way you guys can see the time tick down. But here you go. Here's your bird. Bird Game Plus. Not a very imaginative name. Or imaginative name, I should say. Uh, so this is your bird. You can do barrel rolls, which is pretty cool. Uh, you could take, you know, tighter turns like this, if you so choose. And there is uh, another cool ability that we will show off here in a second. It's very context sensitive, so it only works when called upon. But still pretty cool. Uh, those little breadcrumbs crumbs that you see there, me picking up these right here. Uh, you, you'll actually see at the very bottom, there's a checkpoint by the way. At the very bottom there is a white bar. And that white bar is your health, actually. Uh, and as you get hit, that will tick down. Uh, one of the things I like about this game is it's very forgiving. Uh, actually here, this is the other ability I was talking about. If you hold A going up to this, that will pull this rope and open the door. And boom, we can get through. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty fun little ability there. Let's avoid these spiders and these dragonflies. Like I said, everything is out to kill us. Even the wind. See, yeah, see, look at this. The wind is even making our birds somersault through the air. Even the wind hates us. The wind says, get out of here, bird. We don't like your kind around here. There's our next checkpoint through the next barn door. Make sure you hold A. If you do not hold A at the proper time to pick that thing up, you will uh, go barreling past it and you will croak. You'll have to do the part over again. But like I said, one of the things I like about this game is it's very forgiving. Um, and it will restart you right before the point where you messed up most of the time. The only thing you lose out on is your time. Your time will keep creeping up. So that is your... Oh, we just see we just got hit there. Let's collect these breadcrumbs here. There we go. Back up to full health. Oh, hold A. We gotta open this door. Through the log. Why there's a door at the end of the log, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna question it. Okay, there we go. We got more of these root things, it looks like, that are gonna come after us. 
So you guys can kind of tell what I was saying, where this is sort of more a bullet hell, sh like a passive bullet hell shooter. You're not shooting anything, but you are dodging everything. <laughs> everything hates a bird. See the fish? Hold A. I don't see anything to grab, though. Hold A. To oh, the fish. Fish equals speed. Really? I'll keep that in mind. Oh no, rolling logs. This can't be good. Get through! The rings also mean speed. If you hit a ring like that, that's going to give you a boost of speed to get through stuff. So as you can see, like I was saying, I'm very disappointed that this game only has three levels because I think this is great. I think that this is a really, really cool little game here. Oh, we just got hit by the leaves there. Oh, don't get hit again. Oh, we, we have no choice here. I'm kind of stuck. But even if you get stuck, it'll still force you through those little areas. Not a big deal. Let's open this up. You gotta make sure when you let go that you hit this ring or else you're not getting through. Those doors will close quick and just like that we got slammed so we should have held on to it a little bit longer. But you'll get to see what the respawn does here which is kind of nice. So here we go. Starting back here. We get a second chance. We're not too far back from where that, that door is at. Oops. Ladybugs are giving us a run for our money. All right, I'm gonna try to make it through here again. Oh boy, okay. Come on, bird. You can do this. You're stronger than you think. Get out of the water, though. You can drown in this game. If you get in that water too deep, you will drown. That did not work out <laughs> too well, did it? All right, grab this. Here we go. Let's open these doors wide, like as wide as they can go. Okay, hit the boost. Get in there. There we go. That's what we wanted to do originally. Hit that checkpoint. Yeah, looks like we're heading into another vine area here. I do like that they put the checkpoint, like, within seat, you know, where, where you can see it, because it gives you something to strive for. You see it out there, and you're like, oh, it's right there. Get to the checkpoint. And like I said, they're 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 pretty generous in this game. They're, they're very good about, uh, you know, putting checkpoints pretty much all over the place. And they put breadcrumbs in a lot of different places, too. It looks like we actually have our choice of which way to go here. We can either open the doors, or we can go that way with the spiders. This does not appear to open the doors, though, for some odd reason. Oh, I guess we gotta pull it? Is that what we gotta do? Pull it down? Yeah, we're pulling it down. Okay. Interesting. Just pulling it was not enough. We are fighting against the wind here to get through. There we go. Some breadcrumbs. Get through there. There we go. We got another checkpoint over there. Fight the wind. Fight the wind. Hold A. There we go. Grab that thing. Lots of door opening in this one. We didn't have to do any door opening in the previous level. It was just not a thing we were doing. Oh god, these leaves are just totally blocking us. But we hit the checkpoint. We're doing good. Going over the log here. Oh, another fish. Where are you? Come here. Got him. Eat him up. We've got speed. We got more speed. Oh, we hit the snail. No. Oh, we, we may be done here. Oh, we almost made it too. It was like right there. Let's try this again. Fish. Okay, we got the speed. Come on, fish. We got the other fish. Plenty of speed now. Let's do this. Okay, grab that. Go over the snail. Go down and hit this one. Yes! That is how you do it, my friends. That is how you bird. You guys want to learn how to bird? Play this game. You'll be a bird in no time. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Ooh, that looks scary, doesn't it? Alright, we're going in, though. Breadcrumbs. Uh, I don't know what actually happened there. It, po it pointed that way, 
But there was nowhere to go. Maybe, maybe we'll go the other way this time. What do you think? I kind of like the idea that there are branching paths in this game. That's kind of fun. You can go different ways, if you so feel. Oh wow, this this area, or this way to go is way easier, it would seem. No doors. No log confusing us. And that's the other thing to keep in mind too is uh, we are we are indeed playing this on easy mode. So for anybody who's worried about this not being much of a challenge, you have the option of playing this on hard mode. So if you need more challenge, you can get it somewhere. Oop, oop, oop. Oh! Hit the checkpoint! Hit the checkpoint! Gotta get. There we go. Okay, we gotta let go at the right time. Boy, the spiders! Woo! That was pretty good, actually. Not bad. Whoa, jeez. A jerk. Okay, we're avoiding logs again here, it would seem. Boost. There it is. Oh, we got another boost to hit. Get to that boost. Woo! See, when everything is working together like this, and you're moving fast, and it feels... It, it just feels good. It really does. The wind is working with you. You're getting through all the logs. You're hitting the rings. It's fun. I know the game has not glitched or anything. Right now, it's just loading the boss, which... <laughs> probably could have done something a little bit differently. To make that loading scene a little bit nicer. But here we go. Here's the boss. It's a big frog. I was not expecting that. And he just immediately ate us. Okay, that's not the end of the round, though. Okay, good. All right, so like I said, this is passive. So you got to figure out how to take this guy out. I'm assuming we're going to have to put that bomb on there. There, okay, cool. You're going to see his life in the top right go down. We're going to go up here. Oh, he got me. I was expecting him to go up. Uh, he got me again. Not paying attention. Here comes the water. Woo! Okay, we're doing all right here. All right, we're going down and getting this. Come on, take it. Boom! One more. Oh no! I kind of figured he would go right to the top on the second one like that. Oh, just missed that tongue. Oh, he's got another one. Another one? Wow! Yep, I was expecting the third and there it was. Big tsunami. Go around. No! Oh, jeez. Okay, I am not... Uh, he's got to spit out a bomb here soon, or else this is done. Oh, come on! Lame. Super lame. All right, we'll give this one more go here. We'll give this one more go. See what we can get. Probably help if I hold the right button. That actually makes him turn a little bit quicker. Okay, we don't want him to get us that way. Oh, come on. I think it's one of those things where if he hits you, he may not spit a bomb out. So you gotta do real good avoiding him. Oh, there's a bomb. Give me that bomb. Come on. Take the bomb. Eat it. Eat it, you jerk. What's below? What's up? Ugh. 
Not good at predicting that tongue when it's whipping around. No! And he made the wave. And he's gonna make the big wave. Round. Okay. That's not bad. Oh. Below. Below. That's gonna go up. There we go. How about the bomb? Oh, come on. There it is. Give me the bomb. Eat it, frog. Oh, okay. We only had to do two that time. See, that's what I was saying. Game is somewhat forgiving. We're playing on easy mode, and that might be part of it. But that was it. That was all there was to it. The I, I think that the uh, boss kill in the original uh, level with the the two bugs, it, it had a little bit more theatrics <laughs> when you when you killed them. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, uh, but there was more going on there. For some reason, when I killed the frog there, nothing nothing really happened. Uh, but we're actually going into the third and final level here. Um, I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and pause it there. And we're gonna quit because I don't want to spoil this whole game for you guys in case you want to check it out. Uh, but there, there's the whole second level with the second boss, the frog boss there. Um, for five bucks, guys, I think this is a great game. Um, I, I definitely think this is worth the five dollars, even with with three levels, because each level, you know, uh, offers a, a fun challenge. It offers uh, different pathways to take. Um, obviously, like you, like we were talking about here, there are achievements to do different things. Um, you know, kill kill certain enemies and, and bosses and, stu and stuff on different difficulties. So there's a reason for uh, to come back and replay it and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this is a cool little game. I, I could definitely uh, recommend this one for five bucks. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, but remember, when you go to play this game, everything hates a bird. So if you become the bird, you must learn to deal with that hate. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Yeah, that is uh, Bird Game Plus. Like I said, pretty cool. Check it out. I'll see you guys next time. GRC.